So it was, it was a very tough time. Uh, my mom had just lost my dad, and she came to live with me for a couple weeks. And I had no idea that my mom uh, had anything uh, going on mentally or physically. She was just a normal mom that you know that I grew up with and and been around my whole life. And we had a normal day, and she went to bed. And about three o'clock in the morning, I heard a knock on my door, and my wife got scared, and I ran to the door, and it was my mom at the door, and she said, uh, there's a man downstairs. And I said, where? And she said, downstairs. And I, I grabbed, a, I, think, I think I grabbed a bat or a hockey stick, I think it was a bat. And um, I went downstairs, not that I was gonna do anything with the bat, because I'm a first class chicken anyway, but, um, so I went, ran downstairs, and my mom said, she's downstairs in the living room. I ran downstairs, I'm looking, my heart's pounding, um, I'm anxious, I'm scared, and I'm looking around, and I'm yelling, if you're there, get out. Is anybody there? Get out, get out of the house right now. And I looked around, and I didn't see anything. And my mom's saying, he's right there, he's right there. And I'm looking, and I'm saying, where, mom, where is he? And she said, he's right there, and she points to the table. And on the table, there was a magazine. And on the magazine was a, a picture of a man. And I looked at the picture, and I looked at my mom, and I said, that's the guy? She goes, yes, that's him. And I just froze for a minute, and I was like, <sighs> OK. And I looked at my mom, and I, and I told her that I would make sure he would, the man would leave, and it would be OK. And I reassured her. and. She kept saying, you have to get him out of the house. You have to get him out of the house. And I got the magazine, and I walked him out of the house. And the magazine I threw in the trash. And I came back in, and my mom was looking at me and said, is, that, is he gone? And she said, yes. And everything was fine. And at that moment, I realized my whole life with my mom had changed because up until that minute, I didn't know anything was different with my mom until the awakening of uh, sundowning at 3 o'clock in the morning.